Good morning students, my name is Faskar Jyoti Tamuli and I am going to help you in learning your English book. In the very beginning, I would like to extend my warm wishes to all of you. I welcome you to our esteemed institution, Nucleus Academy. I hope everyone will study nicely. So today, I am going to teach you the poem Childhood. <clears throat> Before going to the poem, I would like to discuss a little bit on the marks distribution of your English question paper. So here in your question paper you will have four sections. Section A there you will get two unseen passages. The first passage it will have 12 marks and the second one it will have 8 marks and in the second one you may get to write note making. I will teach you how to write note making letter. After that section B it is on writing skill. Writing skill in the beginning you will get any description of event or it may be report writing. It will have 4 marks. After that you will have one composition it will have eight marks after that you will get letter writing and the letter may be of three types it may be business or official letter it may be letter to the editor or it may be application for job also so section B will have 20 marks after that section C here you will get determiner tenses clauses, models, error correction, it will have 4 marks. Then you will get editing tags, it will have 4 marks. Reordering of sentences, it will have 2 marks, total 10 marks. So now, section A, section B, section C, altogether 50 marks. After that, you will have section D. In section D, you will get question answer questions on your textbook hornbill and another one book you will have that is your supplementary book snapshot so both the book will include 40 marks so total 90 marks after that you will have 10 marks and this 10 marks is on asl assessment of speaking and listening skill so total 100 marks done now we are going to the poem. See here the poem Childhood by Marcus Natten. And here see Marcus Natten, the original name of Marcus Natten is Marcus Frank Zusak. He born in 23rd June 1975 and he is an Australian writer. And <coughs> see here in the poem Childhood, the poet, actually he is, he, he wondered, he is lamenting, he is regretting that he has lost his childhood. Again, he wants his childhood days. See? And he is asking one question. When did my childhood go? Was it the day I ceased to be eleven? He is asking one question. Here see, four stanzas are there. In all the stanzas, in each stanza, he is asking the question, when did my childhood go? Was it the day I ceased to be eleven? Obya ko sir, so more childhood to my ketya hai kori so. More zhe di zhe di na khan, a ghara ba sa or complete hoi sil hai di na khan hai more, more childhood hai kori so ne ki. He is asking the question and he is getting the answer also by himself. 
Was it the time I realized that hell and heaven could not be found in geography? He again asked the question, when did my childhood go? Again he has given the answer. Was it the time I realized that hell and heaven could not be found in geography? Whenever I, I realized that hell and heaven, these are just the concept, these are not found in geography. Whenever I have realized, I think I have completed my childhood. He has given the answer by himself. And therefore could not be. Was that day? This is the first stanza. In the first stanza, he is asking the question, when did my childhood go? And he has given the answer. See, it may be when I have completed my 11 years. It may be when I realize hell and heaven, these are not geographical, means this we can't get in geography. The answers he has given by himself. Now let's go to the second stanza. When did my childhood go? Was it the time I realized that adults were not all they seemed to be? They talked of love and preached of love, but did not act so lovingly. Was that the day? In the second stanza, the poet he is asking the same question. When did I have completed my childhood? And as the answer he has told that, was that day when I realized that the adults, what they preach and what they do actually there are fast difference preach means what preach means whatever they speak in front of public means tell okay manuwar hongkho jidore koi asalate tell okay he will come no kore jidina khan moi a difference to buziba bora hui silo he jidina khan e moi bhabu zhe moi mur sign hood to across kori so tell answer to nk disabar the word say when did my childhood go? Was it the time I realized that adults were not all they seem to be? Adults will not be able to see the same but originally they are not able to see the same thing. The same thing is that I will be able to see the same thing. I will be able to see the same thing. They talk of love. Tell the adults are not able to see the same thing. Tell the adults. Premor kotha koi, halpuar kotha koi. But kin to ki kore? Tello ke they did not act so lovingly. Kino tello ko asar bebohar the ne ko moromial na hoy. Tello ko bebohar bille, tello ke koi bille. Preach, preach means manu hong se ne ke advice de, manu hong sorot se ne ke kotha koi. He to koi preach bolli. Tello ke preach koi bille, ar tello ko bebohar tu eta bille. आर जितना खान मौज के डिफरेंस तो उसी बोलो ये हम कम हुए सिलो मौज भावो है जितना खान ये मौज मोड साइन थोड़ा तो अतिक्रम करे आहिसो। Let's go to the third stanza. When did my childhood go? Was it when I found my mind was really mine? To use whichever way I chose, producing thoughts that were not those of other people. But my own and mine alone was that the day. In the third stanza, the poet he again asks the same question: When did I finish my childhood? And as an answer, he tells now: Whenever I realize that my mind is mine, not others, on the same day, I think I have completed my childhood. जितना खान मौज मोड़ डिसीजन मौज निजे लोग बोला हुए सो मौज बेलेगोर मौज उतिबा कुदिसो पौधे खिलो सो किंतु त्योलो त्योल पौधे खिलो जैसे मौज कॉपी करे मौज हेतु करे सो हेतु ना होए पर जितना खान मौज मोड़ डिसीजन निजा के लोग बोला हुए सो जितना खान मोड़ मंतु मोड़ निजोर बुली मौज गांव पैसो हे जितना � In the last stanza, see, where did my childhood go? It went to some forgotten place that's hidden in an infant's face. That's all I know. In the last 
stanza, he again asks the same question. When, uh, where did my childhood go? More childhood to what goal? Etienne Alcoy said that it went to some forgotten place. It was a forgotten place of Gusigo said. That's hidden in an infant's face. Or he can eat a pot, look at a semi head to pot the gibble about at an inborn baby, newly born baby, Mukot, Morzito Sailhood, Mohe to Moetia Punor, the Hapao. And it goes to certain forgotten place. That's all I know. So this is the poem. So here, basically, four stanzas are there. And each stanza, the poet is asking the same question, where did my childhood go? In the first stanza, he has given the answer that whenever he, was, he completed 11 years, whenever he realized that uh, hell and heaven are not geographical items, on that day, according to the poet, he has completed his childhood. In the first stanza, in the second stanza, he again asks the question, when did my childhood completed? And as an answer, he told that, according to the poet, whenever he could realize whatever the adults preach and whatever the adults do, whenever he realized the difference, according to the poet, he has completed his childhood. And in the third stanza, again he asks the same question, when did my childhood go? And as an answer, he told, when I realized that my mind was really mine, on that same day, I have completed my childhood. These are the three stanzas. Last four stanza, he asks the question, where did my childhood go now? And as an answer, he said that my sight could go to certain forgotten place and now I can see it on an infant's face. So this is the poem written by Marcus Nathan, very interesting poem. Here <clears throat> the theme, if we are going to speak about theme, mainly we get here hypocrisy. Loss of childhood. These are the main theme of this poem. Hypocrisy. In the second stanza, the poet says that whenever he could realize whatever adults do and whatever the adults preach, the difference. On that day, he said that he has completed his childhood. Means whenever he got to know about the hypocrisy of the adults people, according to him, he has completed his childhood. So here, hypocrisy is one of the main theme of the poem. After that loss of childhood, in the whole poem, he is speaking all about his loss of childhood. In the fourth stanza, in every stanza, he is asking the same question. So he is lamenting his childhood. Where did and when did he has come finished his childhood? So this is all about the poem. So besides this, there are certain important aspects we should learn. Those are see here poetic devices. What are the poetic devices used in the poem?
Here we see rhyming scheme is A B B C C D means second line will rhyme with the third line. Fourth line will rhyme with fifth line. So this is the rhyming scheme of the first stanza of the poem side root. So besides the rhyming scheme, next the poetic devices we will get their refrain. Refrain means what? It's a group of phrase which is repeated in the poem. So here, when did, when did my childhood go? This is a phrase and this line has been repeated many times in the poem and this is called refrain. If a phrase has been repeated many times in the poem that is called as refrain. After that we will get antithesis. So what is antithesis? If we use two opposite words or two opposite ideas together that is called antithesis. Here see hell and heaven. This is called antithesis. Next is alliteration. So what is alliteration? Alliteration is Repetition of the consonant sound within the closely connected words that is called alliteration. So here we are, uh, we will get to see alliteration in the line C, my mind. If we say my mind, the sound L is being repeated and these are closely connected words, my mind, M, the sound M is being repeated here. Then you will get which ever way. The sound W is being here repeated. Thoughts that the sound T is being repeated here. So these are here alliteration. And alliteration means occurrence of the same letter or sound at the beginning of the closely connected words, that is alliteration. Another poetic device we will get here, that is inversion. See, what is inversion? If the subject verb or the has been reversed, then that is called inversion. And see here, in the third stanza, third line, to use whichever way I choose. So here the order has been reversed, means the poet has used inversion. It's a poetic device. Besides this, you will get personification. Personification is also used by the poem Marcus Nathan in the poem Childhood. Here, childhood is being represented as a living being. So that's why here, personification is also 
used in the poem so this is all about the literary devices used in the poem now see here <coughs> individuality the theme of individuality we are get to see in the third stanza when did my childhood go was it when i find my mind was really mine in this line the poet speaks about individuality here you will get uh, see identify the stanza that talks of each of the following individuality so here individuality you will get in the third stanza when did my childhood go was it when i found my mind was really mine in that line we are uh, we get to see after that rationalism rationalism where do we get see what is rationalism actually rationalism it's a point where a person can uh, analysis a thing from the point of view of reason that is rational see here uh, the poet in the first stanza he said was it the day i see sorry when did my sail would go was it the time i realized that hell and heaven could not be found in geography that is rational so you will get there hypocrisy hypocrisy you will get in the second stanza when did my sail would go was it the time i realized that adults were not all they seem to be hypocrisy you will get in the second stanza <coughs> so <coughs> this is all about the poem for today now all of you read the poem nicely and i will help you with the question answer of the poem i will provide the question answer of the questions whatever is there in your book and you also read over it with me ask me if you have any doubt for the poem and <coughs> thank you students thank you